Yo ko so. Japanese Quest away. Welcome to Japanese Quest. Today the journey continues on the final chapter of Xenoblade 2. Today we'll find more words. Our power level will go up. We'll find more sentences. Our sentence level will go up. Sentence level, is that a thing? It's a thing now. So the final chapter, let's break it down right here. Saishuwa. The final chapter. Wa is the counter for chapter. Ah, konnichiwa, konbanwa. Final chapter is called the longest, you can see, or a sentence. Soshite shonen wa. So, and then a boy meets a girl. Shoujo to deatta. To, to meet with. Wa. So as for the shonen, so as for this boy, he meets a girl. Burb, konbanwa. So welcome everyone. Let's get started real quick before we get started. Um, we did add some new word targets we're looking for. Of course, any word that we haven't learned yet is fair game. If you do the power level command, you can see that. But uh, let's quick look also here. So this word was suggested by Burb last time to add to our power level. We added it. So let's see, that's an N2 word. Nakayoku is the form we put it in to get along with, to be friendly with someone. So that is now a bounty of 65 million Griffin coins. Griffin coins is the currency of Japanese Quest. Um, also new targets are uh, highlighted in yellow. You can see this all on the word list section. Um, shikashi, however, um, this is now a two for one because I added in addition to ocha, tea, which is already, already there, we also have gohan, cooked rice, or it can be meal as well. It's now two for one because they have a similar meaning. You might have tea as well as a meal. We also have kiru and kiru to wear, to cut. And uh, at the bottom, we have a four for one for the first time. I forgot to say four for one here, but that's kind of a lot to write. But all these will go at once. Akeru, to open. Shimeru, to close. This is transitive, meaning it takes an object. For example, closing the door, doa o. Akeru, to open the door. Doa o, shimeru, to close the door. And then aku, and then shimaru, to be open, to be shut. The intransitive form. We had none of those yet. They're all in five words. So new targets, anything here is fair game. So let's jump into the game, let's see what we can find. Ah, interesting. I didn't know that, Burb. So Kill a Kill, apparently, that anime is called that because of a pun between the two different Kiru. Kiru, Kiru. So actually there's an up on to where is Kiru, kind of the up tone, whereas Kiru is a down tone. Interesting. There's a pun on that. Did not know that. Let's get into the game. I do know they're wearing some crazy stuff and they're cutting some a lot of clothing and so I guess that's kind of how it works so this we're getting kind of weird because this is now the final chapter we're getting some deeper weirder stuff now and so finally we're getting a long maybe flashback flashback to a different world maybe poke dude konnichiwa so 2000 x net so it could be some year in the future in this uh millennium and it says, this is called, it's kind of hard to read, Beanstalk. This is called the Beanstalk. Looks like kind of like a space tower, space elevator type of thing. Um, so this is called, yeah, this is number one orbiting station, Radamantis. 
And this is weird, because this is sometime, like, probably, like, in our world. And now it seems like they're in a different world, so yeah, this is getting crossover stuff, right? Alright, so the heat-seeking missile has impacted. Alright, so... The orbital ring... The uh, cor Corialis force... There's like a variation in it. This is kind of like weird stuff. Difficult, more difficult than usual Japanese in this game, so let's not worry about it too much. Alright, so Konma here means like comma. It can also mean like point, so this is like point two. So point two, west, north, west, everything has been kind of tilted. So anyway, bad things are happening. Enough. Because of that missile impact. So they're now correcting the balance. Okay, so these anchor bolts have been released. Or they will release them. Things are looking good. In this future past time. Future for us, past for this world, maybe. Nani Koi. So that looks quite a bit like the core of crystal we see on Mithra. But a bigger version. Alright, so over 60% of this Seiren unit has been wiped out. Also looks similar to some of the battles we saw. Similar kind of Gundam. Okay, so at this point, yeah, at this rate, the entire beanstalk will be destroyed, he's telling the the section leader here. And it will be occupied soon by the the anti-government force. It's just a matter of time to break that down a bit. This is a little bit tricky stuff, so we're not spending too much time on it, but good word here. Jikan, time, mondai, problem, and then just a problem of time, just a matter of time. Jikan no mondai. This. This. We have... We must do it. We have no choice. Let's activate Ion. This beast of a... Mech, I guess. So get the gate ready. Whatever the gate is. Understood. Daijobukana. Okay, so again, gate though. They're talking about this gate. So some gate, the uh, the management control, something about that. There's a problem. So what happened? So Professor Kraus, now he is the one who has taken control of it. We can't access it from here. What? So now we see Professor Krauss who's taken control of the gate. So the Trinity processor, its uh, its rate of... This is the word we use for resonating with crystals in this game. So the resonance rate is 96%, you might say. Professor Klaus? Okay, so how is that different in Japanese then, Burr? So if it looks like we can do it. He said. Okay. 
So before you do something big, this is a good word to say. Sa. Well then, let the experiment begin. Jiken, experiment. Hajimeo, let's start. So let's start the experiment. Ah, okay, so the name. Right. So that sounds pretty similar. Professor Klaus. All right, let's go. Meo. No, you can't do that. We have no guarantee that this will work. It's too dangerous. What are you saying? There's nothing to be scared of. We have the chance now to witness the birth of a new universe. So the key word here, uchu, universe, uchu no tanjo. So the birth of a universe, we get to watch it. Right, kudausu. I hear you, verb. Let's keep going. Kudausu, by the way, he's got a weird face too. What's going on with his face? This is a miracle that couldn't be done by anyone other than God. So this is the day that humans can come one step closer to God. Ippo means like a step. So one step closer to Kami. Are you serious? Have you really understood all of that? So are you saying just because I don't understand all of it, I should hand it all over to them? Because I guess they're about to be overrun, taken over by someone else. You have to give away this whatever gate thing they're talking about. So this is something that's been given to us by God. This is a door. Tobida door. So we got some kind of weird door. So if only we have this door, we can go on a journey to a new horizon. So Chihe horizon. In particular, horizon over the land. Chi means land. And then aratana, new, so new horizon. And then e to means two, so to a new horizon. Tabidateru, we can go on a journey to a new horizon. Kind of like what we do on Japanese Quest, through various games, various horizons, we can go on a journey, learn Japanese. It's just a delusion. There, there is no God. So this is nothing but a multiverse joint. Whatever that means, multiverse joint also sounds pretty cool. Let's see, so... So we were foolish. Ah, Sumo-san! Ohio. Bringing the mo-hype. How's it going, Sumo? We are here at the beginning of a new universe or at the end of a universe. I'm not really sure. Something's happening with the universe, though. So let's go. So yeah, this keeps happening with humanity saying we've burned the surface of the planet. So now, even the sky is being burned. But this, this door right here, this can maybe change our existence to a great existence. Ah, 
パレグラッドヤッホーようこそ Japanese Quest away. Welcome to Japanese Quest. You are here right at the end of this game, just as we are witnessing the end of one universe, the beginning of another, and hopefully we'll learn some Japanese along the way. Let's go. Okay, so keyword here. Uchu, universe. Again, what kind of, what's happening to the universe? Uchu no tanjo. Tanjo means birth, so it's the birth of a universe. That is this guy's goal. And let's uh, see how it goes. <laughs> Stop! Klaus! Here we go. This is how we make a universe. Get some kind of particle accelerator going around the Earth. Step one. Some clouds. Okay. Everything explodes into some kind of particle explosion. All right. Dajobu kana. I was a fool, wasn't I? So here we have uh, this god character. Sold. He destroyed the world to, dest to create another one. I think it didn't go quite as he planned. I believe this is Klaus in the current timeline, in his later years. Perhaps he's lived thousands of years now. I'm not sure how long. It looks like the time has come. All right, so that was all a bit mysterious. Some kind of origin story for this game, linking it to our world, maybe linking it to Xenoblade 1 as well. We'll have to keep going and kind of see what happens. By the way, welcome, Polyglot. I believe, if I'm correct, you might have a stream of your own where you teach some language or Japanese, possibly? If that is the case, tell us about it. We can maybe check out your stream sometime. And let's keep going here with the game. By the way, anyone just joining this stream, what we do is we learn words. As we do so, our power level goes up. Uh, we find a word and we add it to our power level. Those words show up down here and then... Uh, we power level up. The goal, of course, over 9,000. Fluency research says you need about 9,000 words for fluency in a language, so that is our goal on Japanese Quest. We travel through game worlds. I'm a Japanese teacher. My name is Akira Sensei. I've taught high school Japanese here in the US and uh, now teaching through video games. That's the goal here. So let's keep going. It says Polyglot says, uh, yeah, mixed languages. Japanese is definitely one of my more commonly streamed topics. Sweet. So anyone watching whether you're watching on youtube later or watching here live on twitch check out polyglotopus kind of sounds like a polyglot version of a platypus i want to say cool well the cool thing about this stream to me is that we're kind of all teachers and learners like i've taught I have a Japanese teaching license, but really everyone is a teacher here. Everyone's a learner here. We can all, in this space here, in chat, teach something. Everyone knows, everyone has gaps in what they know. Everyone has things they can learn. I have plenty to learn. We're all kind of learners and teachers here. We can all imagine, sometimes we show... What does the scouter say about his power level? That's the voice of Nappa. Power level right now is 1,146. Napa, thanks for asking. You can imagine all of us here, we're all on a journey through Japanese games. That is what the concept of Japanese Quest is. We're all on a journey. We're all at different places on that journey, but sometimes we can come together and we can uh, trade ideas, motivate each other, maybe uh, trade swords, trade war stories, and uh, continue on this journey, this Japanese quest. Sa! Ikimashou! 
Cool. One of my viewers told me to check you out. Glad you did. I'm glad as well. And I think I remember one of your viewers talking about you as well, which is why I knew your name. So let's let's continue. Shuchaku. Shuchakuten means the final point, like the the end of the line. It can mean like the final stop on a train. This is the final destination in this game. We already played the game on earlier streams. Right now we're going just through the story because it's pure language, all voiced in Japanese. That's what we like around here. Stopped. Okay. So, shuten. Again, the last stop. Shuten ni suita. So we have reached the final stop gone up on this huge giant like basically a planet level elevator what do they call those like a space elevator so if we go outside i think we'll understand hmm. let's go take a look Oh, your friends went to Japan? I'm jealous as well. <laughs> I'm living in the U.S. currently. I lived in Japan for two years. Um, anytime I hear people go, I feel the same way. Ooh, some cool words here. Hoshiga. So, Hoshi. Star. You can see some stars here in the sky. Sugoku. Chikai. So the stars are very close. So these words we already learned. If we haven't learned them, we could add them to our power level. But let's keep an eye out for words that maybe we haven't learned. We can check our word lists to make sure if we've learned them or not. So the cloud sea now is very far below. So this is above the world tree? Ah, that sound. What? What sound? Lakuen. Paradise. I think they called it paradise in English. In the English translation. Rakuen? Rakuen. Uh, Commodore, yeah, we might not have Sugoku, but we probably have Sugoi. So we have that form of it, so I think we're probably okay for that word. But yeah, thanks for the suggestion, Commodore. Very good suggestion. Itemio. Over here, let's go. Yeah, the adjective form sugoi, if you inflect it with ku, then you can say something is, um, yeah, you can connect it with other things. Indeed. Thank you for the comment, Plyglotopus. That is what chat is good for here. A lot of times other people putting it in writing can be more helpful than anything I might say. So it's been a long time, father. Logos. So I guess he's calling him some name Logos. I think uh, the way you'd say that in English, Logos. If someone knows Greek or something, might know what that means. Logos. 
So is that my true name? So na means name. And then honto, true. So is that my true name? Is logos my true name? And he says imiwa, the meaning. What's the meaning? Uh, it's all Greek to me. Yeah, me as well. <laughs> There is no meaning. Not sure if he's right about that. There probably is some meaning. So all there is is the, the ego of the one who gave you that name. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Thank you for uh, saying that, my poke dude. Logos is the word for logic and reason. So this dude went from lo logic and reason to destroying the world. He's gone a long way in the wrong direction. <laughs> From his previous name, he's not really lived up to that. So okay, so how many years has it been? I forgot. Time has been forgotten. So you know why I came here, right? The key word here, Ryu, reason. So the reason for what? Koko ni kita, came here. The reason for coming here. And then wakare, to understand. So you understand, right? Wakatteru, daro? Wakatteru daro? Everything. I understand everything. So everything of you flows here. So it seems like he's in some kind of control center of this world, in a sense, if he sees everything. In that case, the conversation will go quickly. Hanashi. Conversation, hayai, fast. So, hanashi wa hayai. So, in that case, this will go quickly. So, he wants to kill God, remember? So, that's what he just tried to do there. Arigato, kawaii ne. Kitty was our first party member on this journey. Kawaii. His name is Griffin, by the way. Griffin Sensei. Sekuna. He's also learning and teaching Japanese. He has a power level of one. Nyan. It means meow. So don't rush, my child. Koyo. Watashi wa kieru. I will disappear soon from this world. So watashi wa. So. As for me, Kiyaru, I will disappear. Mou already very soon. Mou soko made kiteiru. Oh, really? Zenbu moratte ikuze. I am going to take everything. Do as you wish. If you think that is your role. This is again a key word we've seen over and over again. Yakume. Big theme of this game is what is your role in the world? Yakume means role. So he's saying if you think that's your role to take everything, to destroy the world, do as you see fit. <laughs> Griffin thanks you. I was going to try to do a Griffin uh, kind of, uh, I don't know, cat voice. Let's not do that. Yeah, that's the fun of this teaching format. You see a lot, and the cool thing is you learn it kind of in context. Yakume, you see this word again and again throughout this game, and you see kind of how it's used. Sore ga yakume to mo nara. So if you think that is your role, then some implied something or other. 
do as you wish. I guess this is the implied thing that you could put there, do as you wish. So is that my will? Again, another good word. Ishi, will. Ore no ishi ka. So is that my will? To take everything. To destroy the world. Uh, yeah, you could use it in that way. We can look up the word. We often look up words, so your question is a good one. Let's look it up. We've added this to our power level already, but it's good to look at. You can see an N2 word. So, common, but pretty high level of the JLPT. Duty, function, role. Cool thing about this dictionary, you can look for sentences too. Um, so, it is your business to take care of them. One use of yakume. Um, did he undertake the mission? Did he, in this case, yakume kind of means mission. I played an important role in the garden party. So yeah, there's a quite of a, a lot of different roles you can see here. So yeah, good questions. Let's keep going. Let's maybe press back. So we're back in the dictionary for later. Yeah, it's a very useful site. There's a, several good ones, but yeah, good question. Let's keep going. So answer, that's what I came here to ask. He's kind of asking about his role in the world. What's the meaning of the world? So he says, Omae tachi. Okay, I wish I paused it in time, but the important thing is he didn't just say omae. He said omae tachi, which means it's the will of not just you, it's the will of tachi, meaning like a group of people. So it's the will of him, but someone else as well, kind of implying kind of his master, his driver, Marubeni. It may be his will as well. <laughs> That's a good answer. So, e good, kotai, answer. It's a very good answer. Thank you for giving birth to me. So did one more answer, has it come? So that may be foreshadowing something that will happen later on. Sugi. So finally we're getting to our destination throughout the whole game we're trying to get here. Vakuen. Paradise. And let's see if it is as much of a paradise as we expected. From that screenshot, maybe not. It's very bright, isn't it? Ah, Cyber Kitty, Konnichiwa. Mm. There's no doubt about it, it's up ahead. So there must be Lakuen up ahead. And just a reminder for everyone, um, let's focus on finding... Yeah, now there's two kitties, I was thinking the same thing. Let's focus on finding some new words. Let's try to get this power level at least up to 1,150 today. Uh, the way we do that, we find some words on screen, we can add them to our power level. Let's uh, focus on that. Hopefully Lakuen will have some words for us to power up with. Huh. 
What? What is this place? And then Uso means lie, but it means like, in this context, you must be joking. Uso. What? This is... This is Lakuen? This is paradise? Okay, so you see all these question marks. So, where's all the green? Where's all the water? Where's the singing birds? Midori, green. Mizu, water. Tori no koe. The voice of birds. All these are good words. These are all words I believe we've already learned, though, in our first thousand. So let's keep going. There's nothing. Why is there nothing? Hmm, this is... Tragic. Isn't it? So like this level of tragedy, we haven't even seen this in the world down there in Arusto. I don't know. I can't believe it in my memory. It was definitely something, and then it implied something different. So, watashi means I. Watashi no kiyoku. So, in my memory. So, here's her memory. So, in her memory, there was something different. Remember, there's lots of green trees. It was like a paradise. So that sound of the bell we heard from before is someone here? Hmm. Over there. Over there it looks like there's one just one big building. Seems like the sound is coming from over there. Koko desne. Kind of reminds me of uh, Zelda as well, having to go to that church at the beginning of Breath of the Wild. Except now we're at the end, so it's kind of like flipped. Tatemu. Building, huh? Yeah, we might as well go. Can't do much here. Let's go and let's make sure. Hmm, yes. It's okay, maybe the, just here is a wasteland. Koko means here, koko dake. So maybe just here is this kind of wasteland. Let's hope. So over there, there must be something. Kito, surely, nanika something. Aru, there must be something. Anomuko over there. The other thing we do at times is we learn sentences. Uh, this is actually a pretty good one. Since I kind of broke it down, why don't we add this sentence today? We got a new party member as well. Yokoso. Japanese quest to it. Welcome. Good timing. So this is the Triforce. We have a Triforce emote as well to kind of hype or to suggest when we learn a new sentence. So the goal is if anyone in chat can write this sentence, we can unlock the powers of this sentence and we'll talk about every little detail of it. Um, so we had a question in chat. What is the meaning of this Sa. Nanika ga aru sa. It kind of means like a, a sense of. Anamukoni kitto. So over there, 
there is definitely something. Haru sa. If we can look up sa, it had, sa is one of these words you can have at the end of a sentence that it can have a lot of different meanings. Um, yeah, it can be kind of like come now. It can also be a longer sa, as you can see here. Um, like a, it can use like a sa, like who knows kind of thing. So uh, it's kind of, in this case, giving a hopeful sense of there must be something over there. So sa, well then, let's go kind of idea. So come along now kind of idea. So it looks like some people were able to write it nicely done. Let's see if you got it right. Um, so space, Spence Dog and Commodore Bucket, Anamokoni Kitto, Nanika Garusa. So there must be something over there. So let's break it down a little bit more here. So ano, anamuko means that over there. Anamuko ni, ni pointing to the direction. Kitto, so definitely, surely. Nanika something, nanika ga aru. There must be something over there. Sweet. And now let's copy and paste what uh, we wrote there. I can add that to our sentence chronicle as well. It takes a little while to copy and paste because sometimes Rikai, our reading tool, also interferes with that sometimes. But there we have the sentence and let's note the time as well. Hachiji yonju pun. So it's 8.41. All right, looks good. Ah, konnichiwa, good to see you. Let's keep going. By the way, this is the sound of unlocking this sentence in your mind. Sentence is now unlocked, let's go. Aruza. So yeah, the saw kind of gives like a hope, a hopeful ring to it with that sentence. Over there, there is something. All right. Ikimashou. Ah, ketogato, konnichiwa. So we have a sentence today. Let's still look for some words. We've not found a new word yet, but we will find some. Our power level will go up. One word equals one unit of power level because really, your power level in a language is decided about how many words you know. But it's cooler even than power level in Dragon Ball because each word you know, it kind of goes up exponentially. Your power level goes up in how much you can produce quite a bit. Ketukato, uh, genki desu yo. Ketukato san wa, how are you doing? So it looks like this was a town, and it looks quite old. Kanari, meaning very. Kanari furui. It looks very old, this town. Morus no chi ga chodo konnan yatta. So where, where were we in this other place? Morusu is kind of just like this. Yeah, Greg, do we have that? I feel like this may be one that we don't have. Did you check on that, Greg? I feel like that may be one we missed. And I think that is N5. Really? Is that in our bounty list? I forgot. All right, let's go to our bounty list. Check it out. So we also have bounties on N5 words we're looking for. That's the most basic level of the JLPT. So let's look. You said it's a bounty? Eh? I don't see it on the bounty list. What do you mean? Furui. All right. So yeah, it's not at the top. I thought you said it's at the top of the list. No, it's just on the list. Cool. So yeah, the bounty is, you can see 18 million. So Greg has won 18 million Griffin points for founding the word furui, old. N5 word, great word to learn. 
So let's go to his bank account. This is the bank for Japanese Quest Bank. And uh, who got it? Greg to be pro. So let's type that word in. And let's just put the kanji because there are kind of different variants. That should work for that. Let's see if it goes up. Sweet, it was 20 million, now 38 million. So let's make that now third place for greg to be pro you listen it i completely forgot about that word nicely done greg to be pro for some reason i didn't remember that one was even on it sweet let's add it to our power level as well let's go to our power up screen and look up our new word nicely done n5 word the kanji also is quite easy to remember the way I remember it, old, it kind of looks, if you look at it, as a, like a pictograph of a gravestone. Imagine it is like a stone with a cross on it. Imagine a gravestone, someone's very old. They may eventually pass on gravestone. Easy way to remember it. So, furui. 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 here we go. Yep, it's a great way to remember the kanji. And uh, we have a new word, so our power level has gone up to 1,147. Let's make that power level go up. Check it, our power level in the bottom right. It has now gone up. Vegeta, what does the Scouter say about his power level? Scouter says our power level has gone up. We can now defeat you, Nappa, or at least almost. Let's go. We are now ready to beat this game. So maybe because it's dry, it seems more dusty than that other place. So it seems like something that would be like a vehicle. So noru is to ride, norimonu is like something you can ride. Kodomo child so it seems like something a child could ride and now it is just dis dis disintegrated in just particles ah yokatta hmm good question do i know other programs other than jet to teach japanese in japan yeah i do know i did jet for two years other than that, I'm not sure of all of them that still work. I know of one called Aeon. Not really sure if it's still active or if this is the correct spelling, but that was a big one. Not sure if it's still a big thing in Japan, but I don't really know a lot. I would Google it and find some out, but... People lived here. Yeah, looking for other than Jet because uh, they're saying Jetto program Igai means kind of other than. So it looks like it was a big city. So it's not even clear how far it goes. So it might have been a town that surpasses all of our world in population. Keyword here, Jinko. Population. If you look at the kanji, it's kind of interesting. People, mouths. How do you measure population? By the number of mouths that that country or that world has or has to feed. Kind of a good way to remember that word. Yep, that is the, the fun of this stream. We can all kind of learn together. Because the cool thing, too, is like you just noticing that someone else watching this like a month from now on YouTube may now also notice that and say, ah, you know, th every, there's something in language learning that's talked about a lot called noticing. The more people that notice things, the more we can learn. So hopefully not a lot of noticing can happen in chat and we can help other people notice things and and uh, we can all level up in various ways that is the goal anyway 
さあ行きましょうなここにあったオッケー、そう、いつか、ファンリーゲティングとソースで、the sound of the bell。カネノート。the sound of the bell。カネ、カネノート。at the church。by the way、anyone know the Japanese word for church。if you do。write it in chat。someone can learn。we learned that word I believe when we played、uh...。Breath of the Wild. Could it be that? Good guess, Ben's dog. <laughs> uh, Platypus says, I even went to a church in Japan. Can only think of temple. There we go. Kit Kat's got it. Elhane's got it. Anyone know how to pronounce it? It's interesting. If you look at the kanji for it, it's the kanji for teach and the kanji for like meeting. I guess teach can also mean like faith. Can. So, yeah, there we go. Kilkai Church. You just name. We are going to the church at the end of the world. So, the bell has stopped. Ooh, that's kind of creepy. The church at the end of the world is doors of. So, is it saying we should enter? Let's go take a look. So you've done well to come back, my children. Okay, so kind of creepy. Voice is coming out of nowhere in the church. Okay. Who is it? Father. So, your father, you mean, is it God? God, but where? By the way, Polyglot looks good to me. Your sentence. I am always here. Come forward. I kind of feel like this is the kind of thing that's good about JRPGs and RPGs in general that we're kind of missing in everyday life. I think every once in a while it'd be cool to、uh, get together with your friends, you know, a group of you. And、uh, after a long journey, Reach some kind of mysterious endpoint that just, I don't know, opens up, there's a voice, and suddenly everything is revealed. That kind of moment, I feel like, we lack in the modern world. Perhaps we could find ways to do that someday. Perhaps we're doing that on Japanese Quest at least a little bit. So take a look. There's steps. So it looks like it continues down.、Mm. Mm, let's go. Let's go down. That was a quick one. Okay, as I recall, things down here get a little bit weird. The words we have at this point were a little bit weird. I think that we learned that during Breath of the Wild. Words like 
Mote Mote, which means can be popular or like sexy. And uh, Hataka, naked. Good words, all interesting to see where we've been. Now let's see where we're going. KitKat, I'll be honest, I don't know anything about Aeon. All I know is it was one of the biggest ones in Japan for teaching English when I was there. But that was some years ago, so I'm not sure of all the facts now. Honestly, if I Googled it, I could probably tell you a lot better answers in five minutes. <laughs> Huh, so it looks like it's pretty well made in here. But I, I will say though, KitKat, that there are plenty of options other than Jet that I do know. When I was in Japan, I knew a lot of people doing Aeon, people doing other similar programs as well. So I will just say that. I just don't know about the current state of them. But yeah, if you find out something, by all means, that is useful information. If anyone else in chat knows, by all means, that comment could be helpful for more than just Kitokato, I would like to know as well. So yeah, this is completely built differently than the, the city outside. Seems like the same materials as what was inside the world tree. Um, good question, Sumu. You do not. It's a different game. But I do think in the ending, kind of in the end of the game, there are some, a few subtle things that tie the worlds together. But no, you do not. They're separate, separate games with some similar themes. The same as the world tree. What? Everyone. Homura! Jitan! They all disappeared. Not good when all of your friends disappear. Seems to happen occasionally though in JRPGs. Kind of reminds me of some scenes in uh, Final Fantasy VII, I want to say. Or maybe ten. So what is that? The uh, Imperial Army of Spedubia? But in that case, it looks like what they're wearing is old. Hey, we see that word again. The one word we found so far. Again, let's find more. But here we see this word again. Furui, old. So they're... So what is old? Sobi. Their equipment is old. It's actually a very common word in video games because it means equipment, things that you can whip, equip your characters with. Sobi. By the way, do we have that word? If we don't, we could add that. Question from Sumo-san. I hear Persona 5 is coming to Switch. Yeah, I do too. That's really cool. And But it, in a way, it makes me feel kind of silly because I bought a PS4. I've never streamed on it. Um... And now all the games that I kind of got it for are now coming to Switch, I feel like. I didn't think games like that would ever come to Switch. Same with Dragon Quest X. Or XI, I mean. Solby. Ooh, we gotta add it. Because that's a very common video game word. Not so common in everyday life, but for games, you'll see it all the time. So it basically means equipment and one word, common word. For example, you'll see it in the menu for your equipment in like a role-playing game. Sobi, equipment. You can also say sobi suru, like to equip something. Certainly a good word. Let's keep going. Google. So where is this? Never a good sign. 
Seems like an appropriate reaction. What is that, Sumasan? Is that from uh, the game you're talking about? Yako, good. Everyone. Mino. Why? 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 Rakuen, paradise. It was never there. Interesting. Yeah, I've seen a lot of that game, Sekiro, recently. Pretty cool. Ah, Ermis. Konnichiwa. Again, just a reminder, let's find some words. Let's make that power level go up. Let's go. Ah, okay, so a different game that is exclusive to PS4. Cool. So even though we came so far with you. Did you deceive us? Very good verb here. Damasu, to deceive. This is the past form. Damashita. So who did he deceive? Us. Watashitachi. Watashitachi o. Damashita. And then it's no desu ka. So it's a question. So did you deceive us? Uh, first playthrough. Um, Actually, we played through it before. Now we're just playing through the story scenes by themselves because it's all voice in Japanese. And that's the focus here, really. Language. I'm a, I'm a Japanese teacher. So this is a channel. All we do is we, uh, we play Japanese games and we learn Japanese from them. That's what we do. And we teach each other. It's not just me. We're all teachers. We're all learners. Let's go. So even though we believed you... Even though we believed you and came with you... Notice both these sentences add... No ni at the end. And you'll notice... This is something that's often said in a negative kind of situation. So even though we came with you, something bad. Even though we believed you, something bad. The something bad is this question that maybe we deceived them. Again, this is like a weird, I don't know. We don't, she's acting weird. Especially Byako is acting really weird. The tiger guy, he's never mean. Byako, <laughs> So, Byako, Nia, what are you saying? No, it's different. I... I... promised... Homura. Ah, Homura. Homura, by the way, means flame, but her English name was Pyra. It's always, it's always homura, 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 homura. Kind of like, yeah. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. I don't know, that's from something, right? Ah, ketukato. Ja, mata ne. Kore kara mo. Ganbare. So, yeah, you always only look at her, you never see anything else. Yeah, well, at least someone knew the reference, Greg, so I'm not alone. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, what was that show? It's like, uh, I can't even remember the name of the show, but I just remember that this 
person would be jealous and say that they're always saying someone else's name. It's kind of like this. Yeah, the Brady Bunch. Thank you. <laughs> it is an ancient myth of American culture. So here's a good word for this whole scene. Okashi, strange. So this, everything that's happening now is very strange. What in the world? Why are you acting like this? <laughs> I can't believe people know so much about this. But there you go. This is an ancient American myth. It reminds me of Star Trek. An ancient myth, Darmok and Jalad at Tanagra. Martha in the bunch called Brady. Story, lovely lady. Anyway, <laughs> you learn Klingon too? Nice. Teach us some Klingon for some word. Teach us the best word in Klingon. I want a power level of one in Klingon. My power level in Klingon is zero. This is the problem. Let's have our power level in Klingon go up today. Okay, this is kind of an interesting question. Kapla means success. Very cool. Kapla. Yeah, I feel like I've heard that one. Kapla. Very cool. Um, this actually sentence kind of reminds me of Klingon, so it's a good segue. Uh, because you have the word here, korosu, to kill. Very Klingon-like, very aggressive word. But notice the way it's being used here. He's talking about ojo-sama. So my lady, Nia, always is jibuno korosu. So she's always killing herself. But does it literally mean killing herself? No, it does not. What it really means is kind of uh, suppressing her true self, suppressing her emotion. So this whole time she can't show her true emotion that maybe she has feelings for the main character, for Rex. But he's always talking about Mithra, Mithra, Mithra. But not Nia. So this verb, korosu, to kill, can also mean to suppress something, to suppress emotions, for example. So you don't understand anything. And I feel like coming from this tiger, it's even harder to take. You see nothing. I'm right here and you don't see... Like, why don't you see me? Please, look at me, Rex. Wow, that was getting uh, emotional. Let's continue to see how this resolves. Again, we are still looking for words. We're still looking for sentences. So let's be aware of that as we go. We can power up with both. Look at the words at the bottom. I think those are still from Breath of the Wild. That game we played a long time. 60 streams it took. Sorry. So answer me, Rex. Why? Have you deceived us? Even though we believed you. Again, we see no knee at the end. So even though we believed you. Yeah, seems about right. Run away. Things are weird. Kapla. Why? 
What, you, you, you don't even understand that? Uh. <laughs> cool, yeah, that's a very good question. I took two years of college Japanese, and I, I'll be honest, during that time, I hated kanji, and I didn't learn hardly any. Uh, when I really got serious was when I lived in Japan. Certainly didn't need to live in Japan, but I just started doing tons of flashcards. That's how I started learning kanji. It wasn't a perfect system, but I would learn them as words. Kind of like this. I just get used to the different components and learn them in context and reading and kind of as words. So I learned things like niku. Niku looks like that. Okay. Um, kazan, fire, mountain, volcano. So I learned them kind of as words. And uh, there are other systems that kind of make it making stories out of pictures. Other people in chat may suggest would work for them. But uh, for me, what started out and helped the most at the beginning was just trying to learn words and learning kanji just as part of that process. And then learning the parts of the kanji too to start forming some mnemonics and stories can help as well. Um, but I, I kind of sometimes hesitate to say every plan that's out there because there's so many. And there's lots of different ways that people like to learn. So I, other people can give good suggestions too. Yeah, I feel like for me, I will lose kanji as well unless I read every day. So I've kind of just, I will read the Japanese every day of my life for the rest of my life. Otherwise, I will lose kanji. And I want to keep leveling up. I still have learned words to learn. I still have kanji to learn. So it's something you just kind of need to do every day. Whether it's, so for me, it was basically flashcards, reading every day, and then just continue that for, say, a year, two years, three years, the rest of your life. You'll start making progress. That's basically what it boils down to. There's no magic bullet to it. Um, some people use systems, like remembering the kanji to make stories of every kanji. I did like that one. But before I even did that, just learning words in context, reading, and then getting reinforcement that way. The biggest thing is just doing it every day getting used to it, and then just start to find a way to love kanji. I, for, in college, personally, I hated them. But then I came to love them by just learning and working with them more and more. Yeah, um, Cyber Kitty. It certainly helps to have a context too that's kind of the hope of this channel that we can see a word we can see its larger context as well the sentence that it's in so we can see what's going to be immediately surrounding that word because often it's a lot of the same patterns that you'll see the farther out you get from it the pattern becomes less strong so that's the fun of it that's the strength of this format i think and beyond that we get a context that's you know fun that we have some Familiar, feel me, uh, commonality with video games. Can't say the word familiarity for some reason. So now he's somewhere else, Sperivia. Yeah, in college, we did different games and things, and we learned them from the Genki book. I just didn't care at that time. I thought kanji was a waste of my time. But now I realize learning kanji actually it sounds weird but it's the easy part and once you learn kanji it speeds up everything else in japanese so much kanji becomes kind of a crutch in a way because it makes reading so much easier which is why people that know chinese have a huge huge advantage because they can read out of the gate at least to some level because they can read a lot of the kanji it's a huge huge help once you learn it <laughs> So yeah, as we've been here, my people. Do you have any idea what you did? <laughs> yeah, you certainly don't need to learn every kanji. 
Because in like the biggest kanji dictionaries in China, there's like 200,000 kanji. You do not need 200,000. Let's cut off two zeros. 2,000 is pretty much what you need. To read a Japanese newspaper, that's about how many common use joyo kanji there are. So that's a good thing to shoot for if you're if you're if you have fluency or close to fluency or reading in Japanese as a goal. Even that's obviously a big goal, but it's it's a doable goal. I mean, if you just think about it, in a year there's, you know, over 200 days. Let's say you take 200 days in a year, 10 kanji a day, boom. You take a year, 10 kanji a day, you got it in a year. It's it's completely doable rate of learning. Um, so yeah, you haven't even looked around at other people. This is the result of you just running forward. By the way, I talked about the 2000 kanji and how you could learn them in say 200 days. That suggests that you learn kanji like kind of by themselves. And I before was saying don't do that. It's better to learn things as words. Some people like to learn kanji by themselves in a system like remembering the kanji. Um, so that would be more with that kind of goal. Uh, Cyber Kitty says, is N5 to N4 the minimum? Is N1 the missing part to really read fluently the most things like manga, anime, and news? I wouldn't necessarily say that. Um, I think even at N5, you can you can read some manga and things and get a lot out of it, potentially. Um, maybe not a lot, but you can get something out of it. Um, some people that are at N3, or certainly at N2, they might start to say they can play games or read some manga fairly fluently with a high, pretty high level of understanding. So I kind of think it depends. Those levels are just kind of a ballpark. Nothing set in stone with that. The test itself has an element of luck to it. Some people aren't so good at tests, so really it's just a ballpark. <laughs> and people who pass N1 too, they may not be able to read things fluently either. Oh yeah, you took N2? Polyglot? Awesome. So no one can save them. So if we just didn't come here, the people in my country, Sverbia, could have been saved. I could have saved my, the Emperor. So Unboxha says, I'm at N5 or N4, still understand one-fourth of what it is to play Pokemon. Hmm. Yeah, it's all kind of a ballpark. And I think, like, when I was around that level 2 Unboxha, I started playing games myself. Um, and even though I couldn't read a lot, I'd say I also was at around a fourth of understanding something like Final Fantasy X, maybe less, but I still think it was a really valuable experience. You start to see how things fit together. You get kind of a roadmap in your mind a bit more of how things will fit together later. So how will you take that responsibility? Yeah, and Unbox just kind of just started too. So that's certainly encouraging. Um, so Kono. That. So Kono Sekimi. So that responsibility, how do you plan on taking responsibility for all those lies? Responsibility? I didn't try to do that. Oh, so you seem very satisfied with yourself. Taking us to these ruins. So with that, could you, you were able to carry out your goal. This is a good word. 
To accomplish your goal. So now we have to fight more people that we don't want to fight. I'm very glad we have to we get to skip that this time. Please stop. So even if we fight, there's there's no meaning. Right? No meaning. Stop messing around. So this is this is revenge for all the people that died. No, but you can play it with Hiragana. You can choose between Hiragana and Kanji, right? Unboxes, are you playing it in Hiragana or Kanji? So it's kind of lame that you can't choose Furigana. If they have Hiragana, why not Furigana? That's right, this battle is revenge for the people you killed. You're playing with Kanji? Yeah, that's the way I would go to. It's still probably language that's probably on the easier side. Do you have a feel of, of that, Unboxious? Yeah, it's, it seems strange there's no Fudigana. Why did you not play Hiragana? I'm just curious about your decision making for that. Because it'd be easier to look up words then, right? But it's of course more natural to read with kanji. If you can get through it. <laughs> I killed people? What are you saying? Wait. Wait. So die and apologize. Um, I'll be honest, I'm not totally clear on the order of operation here because the Tay form normally links verbs happening in series, right? So shinde, shinu means to die. Shinde is the te form of to die. So this means shinde wabiro. So the role is the command form of to apologize. So die and then apologize. How can we do that if we die first? That's my question. So let's see. Uh, I'm playing Pokemon Emerald with Hiragana. Got it. Got it, so you want to play with Kanji. Yeah, there you go, Greg. That makes sense. As a ghost, we'll apologize. Wait. So that's like pathetic. So what is going on here? Everyone's freaking out. So, Homura, Hikari, where is everyone? Oh no, this is the worst part for me. One of the worst parts of this game, just because Tora is always so nice. Only nice. But now we find the evil Torah with the evil Torah voice. So why are you running away? So could it be all of you too? Was it fun? Even though you're just a kid, acting like you're this big hero, playing like an adult. No, it's... It's not fair. So why do you get to be a driver but not... Tora, not me? 
So Tora, Isho Kenme. So I've worked. So let's look at this sentence a little bit more. Um, Gambare is to work hard, to do your best. And in this case, it means to really work hard and do your best because Isho Kenme. So you're doing your best, but even so, Zuruimo, it's not fair. Hmm. So yeah, even though he's working so hard, you got to be a driver, not him. By the way, I do want to give a hint. I will just give a hint. See if anyone gets this hint. There we go. Polyglot. You got it. Um, what was the hint? Did you notice it? I wasn't aware if you were aware of our bounty system, Polyglot. But yeah, you got the bounty. Ishokenme. That is a bounty on our list, so let's take a look at it. Polyglot has now opened up a bank account in the world of Japanese Quest. What does the scouter say about his power level? This is the world of Japanese Quest. The bank, I think, is probably, I don't know, in here maybe. Possibly it's below the Sakura Blossom. I'll be honest, the bank is mysterious. We don't totally know where it is yet. But what we do know is this. We have a new account opened up in Japanese Quest Bank. Check it out. The word is Ishokenme. All right. See, that's a big number right there. Wow. It's already in second because that was a big one. I think that was N2, I want to say. Sugoi. So we have a new second place for uh, a bank account. You can spend these points. Sa. It's a bit of a mystery, but there are rumors that at some future time, possibly long in the future, like near the end of the universe, uh, this will be the primary currency of the world. So these may be very valuable someday. We'll see. So let's see. Polyglotopus, let's write that name in. Um, Why would you have to make your name so nice? The polyglot first, right? Polyglot, by the way, for anyone watching who doesn't know, polyglot means someone who speaks many languages. Polyglot. And then polyglotopus. Is that right? You just nail. Let's go also to really quickly the wanted list, the top. So, yeah, we saw. Well, that was actually an N4 word, but the reason it was so high is because this is kind of what you need for language study. All these words that we find, we also unlock them in the world of Japanese Quest, and we needed this word. That is why this was a big bounty. Very important to work with all your might when you're studying a language. Isho kenme nihongo. Ben Kyoshio. Sweet. So let's go back to our power level system. Let's just type in Isho. So Isho can mean your whole life. But then Isho Kenme. Kenme by itself means like earnestness or like risking one's life. So for risking your life, being earnest your whole life. That is uh, with all your might. Isho kenme. Cool. Let's add this to our power level. Power level is now 1,149. Let's make that power level go up. And congrats on Polyglotopus on your 75 million Griffin coins. These are Griffin coins. They are coins minted by Griffin Sensei. Coins with Griffin's face on it. Griffin coins. Let's go. That's right. So just because you're a bit lucky and you got this, the Aegis, the Holy Grail. So me too, like if I wasn't this fake, because she's like an android. 
I wanted to be born as a real, a real girl. Are you guys talking platypus now? <laughs> yeah, polyglot plus platypus, so does man. A weird poisonous duck creature. <laughs> Anyone know what that is in Japanese? Because I actually don't know. It's probably katakana, right? So she said, Fukohe, that's not fair. Kohe is fair. Fukohe is uh, not fair. So it must feel good. Everyone treating you as special just because you happened to get this aegis. It's a waste. This power is a waste for you. So I won't say anything bad, just quickly give it to the prince. He's the prince. So yeah, that's the way it should be. Yeah, it's very strange seeing people act like they're not, they normally don't. Stop! What did I do? But you still don't know? So yeah, what has happened? What, you can't even, like, look back on where you've gone, what you've done? Really, Greg to be pro. Thanks for the comment. Huh. Kamonohashi. Very cool. Let's look up that word. So the next scene will be Konohoshi no Kyoku. The memory of this star can mean planet too, the memory of this world, more or less. And we'll finally meet God, or someone godlike, it looks like, finally. Um, let's look at the map really quick, though. Not the map, but this word. Um, how does one spell platypus, anyway? I think it's like that, okay. So there's a few options. Let's see what we got. So kamo, by itself, you can see kamo means duck. Can also mean like an easy mark, a sucker, because duck, like a sitting duck, basically. And then hashi can mean like a bill. Kuchibashi can mean like beak. So kamo no hashi. So basically means like a duck bill for platypus, which makes sense because they have a duck bill. What do we have here? Amoku, so it's like a suborder of platypus. It's the platypus kind of like section. What in the world is this? Aburagani. So abura means like fat, kani means crab. So it's like a, a fat crab or a blue king crab, I guess. Very strange. Deeper you go, the weirder the words get. So basically, it just means duck build. And uh, this is not a common word. I'm a little tempted to add it to our power level. Just because it's kind of a cool word. But at the same time, it's so rare that maybe... If I didn't know the word, probably not. So let's leave that for now. Perhaps someday. But yeah, cool word to look at. Um, I think we will end the stream here today. So thanks everyone who joined us. Next time we'll start up with this scene again. Konohoshi no Kyoku. The memory of this star. Part of the reason we're stopping, I happen to know this scene is super long. Because this god dude, let's just say he has a lot to say about the origin of this world. So we will learn about the origin, how to create a world, um, how this world came to be. How to destroy a world. We'll learn a lot. So I will say, Ja! Matane, kyo wa!
楽しかった。Welcome everyone who joined us for the first time today. Like,、uh, Polly Glottopus, who also opened up a bank account today in the world of Japanese Quest. Welcome everyone else.、Um, Zoiku, also who joined. Minna, Tanoshata. It's been a fun journey. The journey will continue next time.、Um, for sure, next Tuesday at the same time, 8 o'clock Central, possibly before、um, we are coming to the end of this game. Probably one or two more streams for this game. Ja! Matane, we'll see you guys next time. We will host someone. Let's try to host a Japanese streamer as we normally do.、Um, let's see. Uh, maybe we won't host someone today. I don't see a lot of hosts at the moment.、Um, or maybe I should just look at the Japanese tag quickly. You know, someone I have no idea who they are whatsoever. I've never been finding new people lately. Let's go to like the bottom. See someone that has a similar number of viewers to us around the same number. Let's see. Oh.、Uh... So, someone is saying, let the, someone's playing the world of tanks. And they have a title in English. So, perhaps there's some bilingual element, which is always good. Let's go over and say hello to this channel Honiyan. Let's go from this world, the world of Xenoblade 2, to the world of tanks. Ja! Matane, see you next time. Kyo wa t a n o s h i k a t t a Ja! またね。あ、よかった。グリーパルプス。私も嬉しい。じゃあ、またね。今からホストします。